this is my room for the next seven days. I am in Bulgaria. I'm here for the Amateur Mixed Martial Arts European Championships. Uh, hosted by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, who I am here working for. This obviously isn't my usual backdrop. This is the, the hotel room that I'm in. I've actually got a great view from over there. Should we show you the view from over there? Absolutely banging. I've been down and I've seen the arena. I've had a quick look out. The cage is getting put together right now. It looks like it's going to be a banging event. There's tons of teams here. It's, the, it's an open tournament. It's the European Championships. So I think I've seen South Africa here, Mexico. The UK's got a big team. Ireland, Northern Ireland, Portugal, Hungary, Bulgaria, Sweden. I've seen all these places. Luxembourg even. I've seen a guy walking around in an MMA Luxembourg t-shirt. So it looks like it's going to be great. There's tons and tons of fights going to be happening over the next seven days. And I can't wait to see who ends up getting crowned as the champion for each of those different weight classes. I'm gonna go take my camera and I'm gonna see if I can get anyone warming up, hitting pads, you know, maybe having a little bit of roll, something like that. Lifts look like the inside of a Louis Vuitton bag. Right, so it's fight day. First day of fights about to come up. Sat here with our gym. Just about to watch. We've got uh, UK versus Norway as the first bout. There's only nine fights today. 151 competitors from 28 different countries are competing, and I'm proper pumped for it. Is anyone that you think we should be looking out for, Jim? Well, there's Dave Bates. He sat right, right up right here. Welcome to day a guy called Ben Robinson is about to fight in lightweight contest. He's going to open it up. So let's see what he's got. Still just finishing prepping the cage. We just spin it around for you. It's not a bad view we got here, is it? It's a pretty great view we got here. Gentlemen, the first contest of the day, we have a male lightweight contest. In the blue corner, representing Norway, Andreas Hendraru. Super heavyweights in the cage. Now this is one that we've been looking forward to. These are fucking massive monsters of human beings. Super heavyweights wrap up 34 fights today. That was a long, long day. I'm just gonna wrap up the results now on IMAF's Twitter. I think it's time for a beer. Jim, what do you think of that? Long. It was long, wasn't it? That, I don't think I've ever watched as much MMA in one day as I've just witnessed. Right, and like, think of like the literally last 24 hours, it's been like, what, 60, over 60 fights. Closing in on 70. If you had the day before, you're looking at mid 70s, so. I, I, I don't even want to watch MMA anymore. Like, I'm done. I think we've got 24 tomorrow, I think. 26 and 12, 26. 26 plus. 26. I think there might be a couple of dropouts and injuries no, actually. Could go one. watch a bit of finites now, or maybe <laughs> Bellator. <laughs> and Cage Warriors is on tomorrow, just in case you can't get enough MMA as well. So I think we're just waiting for uh, Princess Jordan and his magical technical uh, pants. Andres. And then, uh, oh yeah, Jordan. Get down to happy, get happy, eat some beer, eat some food, or drink. Oh, well, do you know, eat some about. food and drink some beer, but. I mean, it does exactly what it says on the tin, doesn't it? That makes you happy. Makes me happy. It's going to make me very sleepy, I can tell you that. Jordan. Uh, good stuff. 
<laughs> Just got a nice TKO inside two minutes. That's what we like to see. Super heavy in the, in the last. Like, to, be, to be honest, I could probably clear up the division, but I'll let him take the gold. <laughs> Where the fuck is Andreas? I'll be yours and you'll be mine. So I started the vlog at a really weird time because I wasn't sure I was going to do a vlog and then I decided I was going to do a vlog but one thing that I have to show you is... Jim Edwards? Nope. This so. Yakuza style Las Vegas opulence that is this fucking hotel. It's like the wet dream of a lottery winner from Japan who also happens to be a gangster that's a fan of Las Vegas. I mean it's so over the top, it's unbelievable. Look at the floor. Shit is wild. Completely five star downstairs. The decorators have not found my room yet though. Well, I think you're, in the, you're on the same floor as me, yeah, aren't you? So room, we, we've got the same um, Stalin era radio clock thing going radio on, haven't we? Clock. It looks like something out like World War II, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can it's tune like in Moscow. and get reports of uh, bombings. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't say that too loudly in this place. <laughs> if you want another example of the sort of shit that's going on down here, check this out. Gold iPhone? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Because that's what you're getting. For the fucking thrilling conversation. How pink does my face look, by the way, in that? What's going on there? Anyway, do you know what I don't get is that in... Uh, I don't really want to pan it all the way around like that, do I? But essentially, every fucker's smoking in here. Like, when did smoking in restaurants become acceptable in 2017? This was the same in Germany as well. Well, not in restaurants, but it was in pubs. And uh, that's fucking mental, innit? We're off on uh, what I can only describe as a fucking compo obstacle course. Looking yeah. at the state of these pavements. It's the side of the street in Bulgaria. Normally you'd find hookers there, but most of them are in our <laughs> hotel. So. Why, am I not allowed to swear? No. no. Talking about hookers in our hotel. I mean, it is factual. It is factual. It's no fact. one's denying it's factual. Um, I'm about to go to Happy, get a takeaway menu. I hate you. Do it. <laughs> okay, day four of fights, and uh, hopefully, well, the world's 26 is now 25, one less fight, and I reckon there's going to be a couple more dropped out once they're on the warm up or whatever like that. So, I've not introduced some of the people that I've been working with here. So, that's Andreas. Hey. MMA Plus, also working for my next match, who is sort of controlling all the scheduling of the brackets and all the tournament. That guy there that's not looking at is the photographer that we've been working with. So, hi, Jordan. And then just beyond him is Izzy, and then we've got Jim Hardin out there, and then that's like basically the team. The press, basically, for today. And then further away over there, you've got oops, a couple of doctors, and all the officials now doing the final cage checks for today. And uh, a couple of people that are coming to watch, getting in the mix, and we are about 16 minutes away from the first fight of the day. So let's hope for some good. It's a semi-final. By now you've, you've weeded out, I would say, most of the those that don't really have a place being here. Pretty much everyone's had to get a win under the belt to get to this stage now. So there's gonna be some good fights, I reckon, today. Woo! How many fights we've seen this week? It's well over 100, isn't it? It's well over the 100. Just yeah, about crazy. to start the medal set. Oh, in fact, there. You can see it behind us. Right there behind us. On the screen behind right us. There. Selfie time. There you go. That is the uh, 2017 European Open Amateur MMA Championships completed. And do you know what? What an absolute fucking brilliant display of mixed martial arts there's been. So many federations really well supporting their athletes, some fucking excellent talents that I'm sure we're going to be seeing in the pro game in the very, very near future. It was uh, <coughs> really enjoyable. Looking forward to the next one. Looking forward to see how far MMA can come. Ten years ago, something like this just wouldn't have happened, wouldn't have existed. And now look where the sport is. Knocking on the doors of the Olympics. Fantastic. Considering we don't eat fish, this is going to be a strange meal. This is a crazy looking bathroom. Check them out. After party! 
where the cage is. And uh, whatever that fucking. Like, Les Alanos over there on the keyboards. I don't know what the fuck this music's all about. I'll tell you that for free. else I could do. There was uh, a shuttle bus coming to the airport. Most people's flights are around about lunchtime. I mean, it's like half 11 or something now. My flight's not till five o'clock. So I need to occupy myself in probably the shittest airport in Eastern Europe. Not getting drunk, because I've got to work early tomorrow, and uh, not wasting loads of fucking dosh. I could do with a nap. I don't know if I get a nap, but there you go. About a thousand degrees in here. I thought I'd mention that. There's no air con. It's roasting makes a change from being cold but I'm a little bit dehydrated from last night so I need to find a shop I need to find some water I need to find some lunch I need to find somewhere I can uh, maybe have a little bit of a nap and not get mugged robbed or raped they had a tough decision to make was it stay out there where I had good Wi-Fi but I just paid 12 quid for a bottle of water and a Red Bull and nowhere to sit and nowhere to look after the bags and there was no power and there was no aircon and it was roasting and it was just a big glass like greenhouse really you know gates are like well you've seen it so it was either set out there with all that lot or i had a quick google and found out that there's business lounges now sometimes they're a good deal but do you know what my pro tip for the day is if you're stuck in an airport for like four hours like i am business lounges are well worth it 14 euros this is and i've got as you can see over there we've got loads of snacks alcohol full stack fridge which i can just rinse uh, there's pizzas there's cookies there's all sorts of stuff as well as a power outlet so i can count the laptop i can keep everything charged up i've got a nice comfy like sofa style chair to sit back and kick back in for a couple of hours i might even try and have a kip because i reckon it's safer in here than out over there uh, just with all my stuff here around us so that is my pro tip for the day if you're here for three four five hours go and see how much the lounges are definitely worth it that was the best idea ever like going in that lounge a couple of hours just flown by um i think i can't see it just yet no it's time to go to the gate it's time to get on my plane that's one more trip done one more trip in the bag happy days I hope these all aren't getting on my flight. motherfuckers I'm back in Manchester back in the motherland that was Sophia that was the IMAF European Open Championships that was a load of fun don't know where I'm going next don't know when I am going next but I'll bring you along with me for the next one thank you for joining in uh, please get your questions comments suggestions and abuse in below thanks for watching hit that subscribe button and get the fuck out of here see you in a bit